Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. In this video guys, I'm gonna be playing with this Hoggy Q deck, uh, my most hated deck in the meta right now. Yeah, my most hated deck of all time, you guys can also say that one, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. So yeah, in the deck guys, we're running, yeah, Hoggy Q, with the Mighty Miner version, because the Mighty Miner version is right now the currently the best best one the night version is not super it's not doing super great super good right now yeah the mighty miner is better because of the tree called psycho and stuff so yeah let's see how it's gonna go this guy's running lumberjack freeze so it should be like some sort of balloon they got the yeah they got what is it called baby dragon as well so let's go for the firecracker like this and then go for the hog rider he's gonna nato the hog rider, i'm pretty sure he does have nato yep there it is so yeah we're fine we're gonna let the firecracker go and see how it's gonna go Pretty, pretty much difficult matchup to be honest for me, but yeah, I would say it's winnable. So he has Evo Zav. I'm just going for my Ice Spirit of the Bridge. And then I'll just go for my Mighty Miner. So he went for the Inferno Dragon. He can go like Lumberjack Balloon at the bridge. I'm not too sure. I'll just go Scalies over here. Firecracker to damage down that Inferno Dragon quickly. And then he's going to go for the Lumberjack. I'm not going to go Hog Rider to be honest. I'm going to just wait. Can just go for the log here and let everything go. Pop the beauty, get that, yeah, that bomb damage, and that's exactly what we need right now. Gonna go ice spear like this, and then uh, skeletons low. That should pretty much full counter that and uh, baby dragon, which is quite nice. And then we're gonna go hog at it again. I'm we got pack kind of interesting. This can be like I don't know, can be like graveyard deck as well. So yeah, there's a nado. Let's go for my mighty miner. And then I'll just go for the Ice Spirit and then Skellies. And we should be fine. Yeah, that's pretty much defense. So I'll just wait for the Mighty Miner to cross the bridge. And then I'm going to go for the Hog Rider so it tanks for it. And then I'll just go for my Firecracker. So, uh, okay. That Firecracker is going to get a lot of value because... <coughs> sorry. Because he doesn't have a really good uh, way of killing it. So let's go for the Tesla here. Skellies. Mighty Miner, uh, if he freezes over here, which he will, I'm going to be in a big trouble. Going to go Ice Spirit, that is going to get, we got one hit and two hits. Okay, I was expecting the, I was expecting the balloon to get only one hit, but yeah, it's fine. Going to go Hog over here and then Log as well, and then, yeah, perfect. And then Firecracker, that should be pretty much Tower Down. Yeah, the Firecracker is going to take that Tower Down, which is pretty much perfect. So yeah, we're going to just go for the Tesla over here, Hog Rider to kite back the P.E.K.K.A. so it doesn't tank for the Balloon, and that should be pretty much GG's and yeah, game over. So yeah, we'll take the win right there, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here up against this guy, so let's see what he's playing. Gonna start the game by playing my Skeletons. I'm, on, I'm running Evo Firecracker and Evo uh, Tesla on the deck, guys. You guys can run... Uh, Evo Skeleton as well if you want to and sub the Evo Tesla or Evo Firecracker it doesn't matter too much so yeah it's up to you guys it's your it's on your it's like your perfect personal preference so yeah, I'm gonna go for this Mighty Miner and then I'm gonna go for my Ice Spirit and then I'll just go for my Earthquake on top of that this guy is running Archers Evo Archers with the Tombstone and the Dark Prince I guess I'm gonna pop the Ability first and then yeah I'm gonna pop the Ability and then counter that Dark Prince with Skeletons. I'll go for the Firecracker as well to kill that uh, Dark Prince. And also uh, take down that Inferno Dragon. So yeah, that is pretty much good Firecracker of mine. It's going to go for the Graveyard. It doesn't matter too much. We'll just go for the Tesla Log as well. That should be pretty much defense. Yeah, well, we shouldn't get like too much damage. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, is he back to great? Is he is he back to tombstone? He cycle one two three. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. I guess I'm gonna go hog it anyway. He's gonna play the tombstone. I'm not gonna play anything else. Okay, now I'm gonna play firecracker because he cycle. He played a lot of elixir, like three elixir tombstone, three elixir firecracker is six, and four elixir dark prince is ten elixir. So yeah, that firecracker was pretty much good play, even though we didn't get a lot of damage, but still baited out a lot of elixir and. Yeah, take down the enemy troops. So he got a log. Interesting. I haven't seen log in a graveyard deck before. So uh okay, I can just I, I, I go just cycle my mighty mar at the back. And then I'm gonna go firecracker because he's not back to the tombstone and okay, he went for the evil archers. And wow, he cycled himself back to the tombstone so quickly. That was pretty much good play. But I'll go for the firecracker anyway. 
to kill those archers and also get damage on the tower. No, that one archer killed my firecracker. If it didn't, if it stayed alive, it would have uh, killed the infernal dragon as well. But like, what? Is, why this guy is running gold and what the? I go hog out of here. He's not back to tombstone, so yeah, we should get some nice damage. So uh, okay, let's go for the Tesla here to on defense defend everything and then we're gonna go mighty minor first on top of the dark prince and then i'm gonna pop the ability go to the other lane to take down the golem so you're gonna pop the ability over here i'm gonna go earthquake a little bit later on top of the graveyard just to make sure that we're gonna take down all of the graveyard skeletons two of them stayed alive but yeah it's kind of annoying but you should be fine Let's go for the skillies, firecracker should pretty much damage down everything and log is going to take down the fire, uh, the archers which is pretty nice. Going to go hog it over here and then I'm going to just go for my ice spirit as well and yo the hog had to just ignore that tombstone that's so funny. Okay another firecracker and then skeletons and uh, oh we got arrows I'm going to pop the ability yeah I'm going to pop the ability I don't want my mighty miner to die into that inferno dragon so yeah I want him to play something on it. And now I'm gonna go another hog rider. He's gonna he's back to tombstone now. We'll just go for the Tesla earthquake on defense for those uh, yeah for those skellies. Ice spirit as well, just to make sure that the Tesla is gonna stay alive a little bit healthy, so he cannot go golem at the bridge because that's what they do. And yeah, most golem players do. Uh, that's what golem players do like a lot of times. So. Alright, really nice firecracker value, killed both of those evil archers, even though we got the king to activation, it doesn't matter too much. So we're gonna go for the tesla on defense, some mighty miner a bit high up to damage down that golem faster, ice spirit to stun the inferno dragon, and okay, the ice spirit didn't jump on inferno dragon, which kind of sucks, but it's still fine, the golem is dead, so yeah, that's what matters. Griefer's skeletons are dead, then we're gonna go for the ice spirit, and then skeletons. Hmm... Okay, so I'll just go for my hog here and then earthquake for the tombstone. Okay, he played it in the anti-earthquake placement, which was pretty good play it is in. So, yeah, I gotta give him the credit. Gonna go log over here and then I'll just go for my skellies. And then I'll just go for my ice spirit as well just to be safe. And then I'll go for the hog again, earthquake on top of the tombstone, which he's going to play it. Yep, he did. We're gonna get one hog at a hit. No hits. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, holy man. Chill, chill, chill. We go for the evil tesla evil tesla is gonna be the savior over there we go for this the golem is gonna be dead i'm pretty sure i'll just go for my tesla over here even though it's not like fully dead but yeah so let's go for the firecracker and then another hog at the holy golem at the bridge i'm pretty sure this guy lost over here yeah the hog is gonna break through and there's nothing much you can do about it so yep that is pretty much game over tesla on top the golem yeah pretty much ignore the tesla but it doesn't matter so GG's and yeah, we'll take the win over there and I'll see you guys in the next game. I'm on the next game here up against Roser, so yeah, let's see what he's playing. Gonna start the game by playing my I'll just go for the Hogger and then Ice Spirit at the bridge just to figure out what does he have. It's pretty much like never a bad play. Oh no, not that Mega Knight Bait, bro. Not Mega Knight Bait. He's gonna go bad, Skies Watch. Yep, these guys are so predictable and they are so much a one trick, bro. Like 2.6 players are not this much one trick as these players, man. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So, uh, this matchup is like not the... It's like 50-50 matchup, I would say. So, because the amount of spam that you're gonna... They're gonna do, like, they're gonna spam at you is just insane. You can't do anything about them. And also, they cannot defend your hog. There's like pretty much, I would say, so like they can't defend your hog is flawlessly so you're gonna get like you always get some damage from your hog either they're gonna either they're gonna what's it called overspend on top of your hog and either that's gonna happen or you're gonna get the hog damage so let's go for the earthquake prediction on top of the on top of the goblin gang which we didn't get it unfortunately but it's all good let's go skelly's ice spirit and we should be pretty much fine yeah we're good we're good so he might activate uh, his king tower over here which is pretty much okay with me so yeah there it is he activated so i guess i'll just log the wall breakers at the right hand lane and let the left hand lane go so uh okay uh oh no oh no i have to quick sheesh bro i should have quick a little bit lower Oh my god, I'm gonna get, he's gonna get a lot of damage, bro. The moment that he saw my lock is out of hand, he just spammed everything, okay. 
Let's go test over here. I have to ignore the evil bats at the opposite lane. There's nothing much I can do about them. I'm gonna go log as well just to be safe. Even though I didn't need a log, but yeah, okay. Nah, all right, so he got a lot of damage. We'll play at his end. Yeah, he got me with that when my log was out of cycle, so. Okay, it's all good. Let's go Farcrack over here to get damage because I need damage and then go Skellies. Oh, he went Arrows, okay. Let's go for the Mighty Miner, Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit should clutch over here. Yeah, I did pretty much well. I'm gonna go Tesla. Tesla's gonna defend everything. At the other lane, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we're fine. Gonna go Hogada. He might go Drow. I'm gonna go Firecracker as well to predict the Goblin Gang. It's all good with me. I'm gonna get a lot of damage from the Hogada and the Fire. I mean the, I mean the Firecracker. So wait, what is he doing? He's so low on the Elixir. He just lost. Yep, it's GG's man. Game over, bro. <laughs> what is he doing, bro? What is he doing? Yeah, it's game over. So yeah, we'll take the win over there against MK Bait, and I'll see you guys. And the next game. I'm on the last game here up against uh, Johan Pillen. So let's see what he's playing. I'm gonna start by playing my. Yeah, I'm gonna go hog at the bridge. He's running Duchess, which is pretty much trash tower troop. So yeah, let's see how's this guy's. What is this guy's playing? I'm pretty sure they're gonna buff the Duchess though. If I don't be wrong, they are going to buff Duchess because she's insanely trash right now. So. Yeah, we might see a buff to the Duchess in the next set of balance changes. Which I really don't like to see, but yeah, let's see how's that gonna go. I really hope that they don't buff her, but... Because uh, once they buff her, the miner is gonna become useless again, even though it is like not in the best situation right now. But yeah, it's gonna become pretty much useless, so... Yeah, so let's go for the Hoggard over here. He is running... He's running, if I don't be wrong, he should be running Lumberjack Balloon Freeze. Alright, not the best matchup, but yeah, let's see how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, Mighty Mine over here, leak my elixir a bit because I, like, there's nothing much I can do about it. And then I'm gonna let the Mighty Miner go. So, I guess I'll just, uh, he can't recruits, bro, I hate recruits. Recruits are like one of the biggest, uh, you know, hard counters, like, yeah, one of the big, one of the most wow, bro what my english all right all right all right, all right. recruits are difficult to beat with the uh, hoggy q yeah that's but the tesla version it's pretty much difficult and eh? wait what did he just did he just lost the tower is gone man he doesn't have any elixir at all to defend that yeah he's gonna zap and that's not gonna do anything he's gonna <laughs> nato as well that's not gonna also do anything so yeah that's pretty much tower down I would say this game is pretty much over. All I have to do is just defend his evil recruits push. And I should pretty much win. So uh, yeah, I'll just uh, cycle my Tesla on defense. He's going to go recruits at the back. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there are. There they are. I'll go for the earthquake. I guess I missed the earthquake. I should have put it a little bit lower. Yeah, oops. I missed it. The recruits are not going to. Uh, the shield are not going to be out completely. But it's all good. Let's go for the fire guy. No, I cycle the hog either, bro. Uh, I guess that's fine because he's gonna kite back the infern the electro dragon a little bit, but yeah, it's all good. Gonna go ice spirit skellies for the inferno dragon, and then I'm gonna go for the mighty miner as well. I'll just go ahead and pop the ability a little bit late ability. Oh no, 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 not late ability. All good, pretty much okay ability. Gonna log over here, and that should be pretty much game over. Yep. He's gonna NATO, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's GG's. Thank you very much for watching the video guys. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.